Hi everybody, welcome to Better Home Bartending. My name is Dakota Bryant and this is my kitchen. So for work I manage a bar in Mount Dora, Florida and we have all of the tools and ingredients it takes to make great tasting and gorgeous craft cocktails. At home for myself though and for most people that is not the case. So this series of videos I'm doing, we're going to be going over tips, tricks, techniques we can apply to home bartending just to elevate everything a little bit. We're going to be using ingredients from our pantries, our refrigerators, and then building drinks with nothing more than home appliances and then really standard bar tools that most people have just lying around anyways. In this video we're going to do a sour two ways, Cuban daiquiris and gimlets. So right now we're going to get our tools and our ingredients ready, then we're going to prep and make some great cocktails. All right, so first things first, we're gonna be making a classic simple syrup at room temperature, featuring a one-to-one -one ratio using a cup of sugar and a cup of water. We're gonna whisk that together until it's fully dissolved, and that way it's gonna be ready to use right now. After we make it, we're gonna transfer it to a smaller bottle, just so it's easier to pour. Now in future videos, we're gonna be going over Demerara, sous vide infused simple syrups, and stovetop simple syrups. So there's a lot of other techniques you can use for this, but right now we're keeping it really easy for our daiquiri and our gimlet. Our next ingredient, we're gonna be making fresh squeezed lime juice. So whenever I squeeze limes, um, especially at home, I like to take a lime and just give it a quick once over roll, just kind of loosen it up a little bit, cut it right down the middle, So you have two halves, then using our hand juicer, we're going to do a quick squeeze right into a measuring cup. Once you have a good amount of juice squeezed, I also like to transfer it to a smaller bottle. That way it's easier to pour and handle while making cocktails. Then we have lime juice ready to use. So the last thing to talk about before we get started is choosing the correct ice for cocktails while we're at home. So first thing we have is ice from the dispenser. This is what you find in every house. This has some great purposes. It's great for chilling glasses and it's also great for blending. So this makes a nice powdery ice and worse comes to worse and this is all you have, it'll do. Then we have molds. Some molds I definitely recommend for everybody are one inch by one inch silicone molds. These are the best and closely mimic cold pressed ice. So they're the best for stirring cocktails. They're the best for shaking and actually developing a drink while you're in the shaker or in a mixing glass. Then we have large format molds. These are gonna be sphere molds. Um, a lot of people have these in their house. They're not my favorite but they work fine if you're gonna do a shaken cocktail at home and then serve it over a large format style ice. Then we have, through directional freezing, we have hand cut ice, and these are my favorite to work with, um, and they're really easy to do at the house, so we're gonna do this in a future video and go over the process. Um, it's really, really a lot more simple than people make it out to be, but it takes some time and it takes some practice to get some nice blocks made. Now, we're gonna go to the Cuban daiquiri and the gimlet and prepare these drinks. There's always been a lot of debate when it comes to the Cuban daiquiri on who actually created it. So Cubans, they've probably been drinking sugar, lime, and rum for years and years and years. And then um, along comes an American engineer by the name of Jennings Cox. And he is actually the first name on the ingredient card. Then you have places in Havana, hotel-wise, like the Hotel Plaza and the El Floridita that start putting this drink into a lot more people's hands, and then it starts becoming a call. Um, then Don the Beachcomber puts it on a menu, and then people like Jeff Beach Bumberry write about it more recently in books like Potions of the Caribbean. But the version we're doing today is gonna be, you know, a nice home version you can do of a classic daiquiri. All right, so we're gonna start by adding ice to our coupe glass. Then we're gonna set it aside, let it chill. 
Then, bottom side of our Boston shaker is what we're gonna use first. Using our jigger, we're gonna add two ounces of rum. Then we're gonna go over to our lime juice. One ounce. Then one ounce simple syrup. Add our one inch by one inch ice. Then using the top part of our bar shaker, we're gonna make a seal. Then we're gonna shake. Get all the alcohol out of that top part of the shaker. Discard the ice from our coop. It should be nice and chill now. Then we're gonna add Hawthorne strainer to the top of the Boston shaker. Then a normal household fine strainer and double strain our cocktail. So this should remove any ice shards or unwanted pulp from our lime juice. Then for garnish, we're gonna do one thin lime wheel. That's gonna get floated right on top. Then you have your Cuban daiquiri. Cheers. So let's talk about the gimlet. Is it a sour? Um, nobody knows anymore. Um, you can't talk about the Gimlet without talking about Rose's Lime Juice. And Rose's Lime Juice is technically a cordial, but it's few and far in between anymore at cocktail bars, and it's less of a call these days. So in the beginning of the Gimlet, we have sailors in the Royal British Army drinking just gin, two parts, lime, one part, and that's it. Then Rose's Lime Juice comes along and sailors are using Rose's Lime Juice and gin um, and kind of doing more of an equal parts type mixture. Then you have books like The Long Goodbye, which reference the gimlet. And in the book it calls for equal parts, that's the final word, that's a gimlet. But nowadays that's not the case and tastes change. And I think a lot of people find Rose's Lime Juice to kind of be a little bit more artificial tasting and a little bit more on the sweet side. Um, but I always recommend, you know, try an original if you can find Rose's Lime Juice and try it out on your own. But what we're doing with the Gimlet today, we're gonna be doing it more of a sour style and we're gonna actually be serving it on a big rock. So we're gonna make it a sour. All right, so we're gonna start by adding one large hand cut ice cube to our rocks glass, letting it chill. Then we're going to come over here with the bottom of our Boston shaker and add two ounces, using our jigger, of London Dry Gin. Moving to our lime juice, we're going to do a full ounce just to give it a nice, sharp lime taste. Fight off that scurvy. Then we're going to go to only half an ounce of simple syrup. So it's going to be a sharper drink. If you want it a little bit more diluted, let it sit on the rock after we pour it. Then, one, one inch by one inch ice cubes. Using the top of our Boston shaker, we're gonna create a seal. Then we're gonna shake. Get all that alcohol out of the top of the Boston shaker. Move on to our Hawthorne strainer, right on top. Then we're gonna take our fine strainer, just remove any ice shards or pulp. Pour that right over the big rock. That should give you a nice full drink. Now let's garnish. So 
So we're gonna do a classic line wheel. And that's gonna sit right on top. And there you have Gimlet on the rocks as a sour. Enjoy.